Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back. We have a little project here. I need scissors. Let's get some scissors. And the glue gun is heating up. Now this is, I had my husband, I wanted uh, on Pinterest, I saw, and if you go to my Pinterest, I think it's Laura M. Wood. I think it's just Laura M. Wood, just like this channel. And I have different, you know, you have different boards. And I have one for farmhouse. I think it's in farmhouse. It might be in crafts. I don't know. But anyway, they had these like um, boards that look like shutters in front of their window, but they didn't cover the whole window. And it was way cute. And I'm like, can you make me that? <laughs> you know? So I had him make me two of these. And I was going to put them on hinges so that they would move. But then I decided, you know what? I've been looking on there, and the, the new thing that I saw was this. They actually, the one I saw had a bottle down here, and I don't have the little bottles. So I'm just going to glue it right here on this part and right here on this part. It's black, I know. I'm going to sand, I'm, before I do that, I'm going to sand this so it looks a little more rustic. And then I have some of this houndstooth ribbon, and I am going to make a bow, a cute little bow. And I think I have enough for both sides, I think. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure I do. And then probably just enough. Using up what I have, guys. Use up what you have. So I'm gonna put this under here, under this one. If I can get it right. There we go. And put it in the same area, you know, and get it to up right and then make a little bow and so there's tails and hang it down so 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 cute so we've got that one we got this one I've got my sanding block right here you just take a regular piece of wood and some sandpaper and we are just gonna do this to it If you have any kids at home, just show them how you want it to, to be. And let them go to town with it. You know? Okay, so we did that side. Let me move my little pick here so that it's in the way. See? See it? And we are just going to... Everybody is uh, doing okay, staying healthy. We're trying to stay healthy, but we have a kid in school, so you know how that's gone. Um, she had like a little cold last week, and any t usually she'll get into a cold, it'll end up like asthma, because she has asthma, and it'll end up raising havoc with her. And so she wasn't getting better with, with the um, treatments, 
I mean, it was helping, but it wasn't cutting it. So here we go. See, it's kind of rest up looking. And then we're gonna glue this right here and up there. Really quick, easy. I just had my husband, and you could do this. You could find something at <clears throat> your um, craft store, you know. And let's see if my glue gun is ready. Yep. So we're gonna glue that on here. so that it stays in place. We'll get rid of all the flyaways after. And then we're just gonna take this. I don't think it matters what side. You can be more um, pretty with it if you want. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, so it's been, I don't know, it's been 10 or more days since she's, since she's had it, had that little cold thing. And me and my husband are like, cover your mouth when you cough, you know, the usual stuff that you tell kids to do. And we spray the house with Lysol, you know, in case it is a, you know, other than the C word, you know, if it's a different kind of virus going around, which there is other than the C word, you know, and um, we are taking precautions, you know, but I woke up yesterday started to have a little tickle. And I'm like, uh-oh, I just got over having bronchitis. I do not want to get sick again. So we've been spraying the house and <clears throat> my husband yesterday started the little cough. I'm like, great, Ariel made us sick again. <laughs> so hopefully it won't turn into bronchitis and it's just a little thing going around. You can't, I, I'm not going to run to the doctor every time I have a runny nose. You know. So here's this one. See? There's one. I have to put the little teeth up here. I got hangers upstairs that I will put on there. So now we'll do the exact same thing to this one. Move that. Move this. And we will saw it. So anyway, uh, um, her cough wasn't going away. So, and it was an asthmatic cough. You can tell the difference. And so yesterday I called the doctor and I said, do I really have to bring her in? She doesn't have a fever. She isn't, none of the other symptoms. So can we just put her on a steroid drink, you know, steroid pill to control the cough? That's what he did. He gave me a steroid pill for her to take for five days. Within a couple of hours of taking that, she, I didn't hear a coughing or anything. And about seven o'clock last night, she's like, Mom, I feel better. <laughs> I said, I bet you're not coughing, <laughs> you know? And then today, because this is the first really full day, she's at school. And I, she wanted me to take her in a lunch. So I took it into her and I said, so how are you feeling? You feeling okay? And she goes, yeah, pill's working, but I still have a little cough. And I'm like, okay, so tomorrow I will give her, tonight I will give her a NyQuil, go to bed with. Her body just needs to relax, you know? 
And then tomorrow she takes her uh, steroid pill. She has to take it before she goes to school. And I'll give her a day quill. And she should be fine all day. She shouldn't feel like she's been feeling. So, <clears throat> and it's been, it's been, um, you know, it's been, it's been over 10 days. And then they had the long weekend. And so she's had time to recuperate, you know. And they send kids home, and if they've had the shot, you know, they only have to stay home for five days, you know. So it's well past that. And I looked on the school's website today, and there are five kids out with active cases and nine kids quarantined. And no teachers are quarantined or anything. So that's good. But we, we're in a small area so it's not like the city up in salt lake they've like closed school and everything up there and it's it's not that bad down here yet you know hopefully it won't they won't close school unless they absolutely have to and you know and they even if you're sick they give you the choice you know they can do this work online so and that's going to be the new normal now if you're out sick you can still you know depending on how bad you are you can still do your classwork you know and so she doesn't all last year she's like i want to go to school i want to go because we kept her home because of her we didn't want her sick and so and where we're older parents we definitely don't want to get sick you know and so when she could, you know, she was, there. those kids are eligible for the, the shot. So, and she wanted to, she wanted to do it. And I'm like, okay. So <clears throat> I asked a doctor about it and all of that. So she didn't want to wear a mask anymore and she didn't want to be home anymore. So... Can, but now she's like, I don't want to go to school. I want to stay home. I'm like, that's not how you were saying last year. <laughs> you know? So she has a whole different tune about it now that she's at school. It's because she had a test. And she didn't want to go to school because she had the test. She didn't want to go do the test. I'm like, no, I don't think so. You know? And if she's sick, you know, you got to keep them home. So I did keep her home last week and then Friday she said I gotta go because she had a test she didn't want to miss it I said well you don't have a fever or anything so you need your mask that was a whole thing <laughs> you know and I'm like well I'm sorry so she went Friday and then she kind of she relaxed all weekend so she's good she feels good I mean other than that, that little cough she she feels great she doesn't even feel sick. I'm like, well, that's good. There. So we're just gluing it in a couple of spots so we don't have an issue. And then we'll put this on. So, I did go on to the government's website to, um, they had the tests, at-home tests. We can't get them here, down here. I don't know why, but we can't get them down here. Cause, probably because we're in a small area. I don't know. Anyways, so, and they're supposed to be free. I went on to the website. It was easy to use. And um, they send you four tests. Well, I don't know what happens if you have a family of, you know, six or eight. Because or, this is, you know, this is Mormon country, LDS country. And there's a ton of kids, <laughs> you know, there's a lot. So I don't know how you would get the extra ones for your other kids, you know. Take them to the doctor like we've been doing, I guess. And the 
This one has a shorter tail on it. So anyway, there it's gonna it's getting mailed out, so I won't have to call the doctor and get tested every week because you have a runny nose. So stupid. <laughs> but you know, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask by all means. And if you're worried, even if you've gotten the shot and the booster or whatever, and you're worried that you could get sick when you're out in public, wear your mask, you know? I do, I don't care. I wear it everywhere if I'm out and about. I do not want to get sick. And the kid that's making me sick is my own. <laughs> so, um, I feel fine. I, I don't feel, I just have a little teeny tickle. So I'm sure that it's probably going to develop into something. But, so here is this one. So let me show you. There you go. Aren't they pretty? Oh my heck, I love them. I don't know where I'm going to put them. But they're going to go up with the, everything else and I'll figure out. Ariel will help me figure out where we're going to place them. So, I hope everybody is not sick. And everybody is being safe and having a good week and so far so good so yeah go to that website go to the government's website and get yours so you have them that's what you can do that's do that <laughs> so anyway so that is it so we will talk to y'all again soon bye now